Today I'm going to share three things that I think you should know about vitamin B7, which is more commonly called biotin. Hi and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Christina and I work as a naturopath. And on this channel I share a little bit of knowledge uh, about vitamins and minerals and how nutrition can help us to have a stronger immune system and feel healthier and happier. So today we're going to talk about vitamin B7, which is mostly called biotin, but sometimes it's also called vitamin H. H like in hair, because it's also very important for a strong and healthy hair. So vitamin B7 biotin, number one is that it is good for our hair and it is important to have a strong and healthy hair. Number two, it's very important for our skin and the health of our skin. And number three, it's important to have strong, healthy nails. So they, they are the three most important uh, areas that biotin is most needed, needed and also where it's mostly commonly known for working on these areas. But remember, just like the other B vitamins, the B7 is also very important for digestion. It's important to be able to break down carbohydrates, protein and especially fats in our diet. And as you probably already know, we need to have a healthy digestive system to have healthy hair, skin and nails. They are all um, things that show on the outside when the internal organs are working optimal on the inside. So B7, like the other B vitamins, are very uh, important for a good digestive system. It's also important for our nervous system, for our brain. It's also helping to balance our blood sugar level. So it's extra important if you have problem with blood sugar level going up and down or diabetes type 2, for example. It's also said that biotin is very important for diabetes type 1 to protect your kidneys. And also it's important in the production of white blood cells together with other nutrients. But um, since it is important for the production of white blood cells, it's of course very important for our immune system to have, have a healthy, strong immune system. So let's look at some of the deficiency symptoms. How can you tell if you're lacking this vital vitamin? So the most common symptom that you get when you have, are low in biotin is thinning of hair, losing hair. You feel it when you brush or comb your hair that you're losing a lot of hair or split ends. So it doesn't look so healthy and you get a lot of split ends if you have too little biotin. Also, you get the dry skin. You can get the dry scaly skin, a little bit of whiteness and also inflammation in the skin, dermatitis. Also dry eyes or inflammation in the eyes where you get red shot eyes. And also brittle nails. So they easily break and you can feel they're not as strong as healthy as they used to be. Can be a sign that you are deficient in biotin, vitamin B7. Also if you have problem with the blood sugar level, if you feel fatigue, depression, anxiety, worries, all these symptoms are uh, a common deficiency symptoms for all the B vitamins, but so also for B7 biotin. And usually we have quite a lot of biotin in the food we eat. So most people that are deficient in this vitamin is also because they have problem with digestion. So it's not working properly for them and then you can absorb it from the food you eat. Also you need the healthy gut bacteria with a good uh, probiotic in your intestine. And uh, so if you have taken antibiotics for a long time or even for a short time, it can uh, affect the absorption of biotin. So that's also a time to take extra. But remember, just like the other B vitamins, it's water soluble. You need it every day and it works best in balance with the whole B complex. That is all the B vitamins from B1 to B12 taken together for best absorption and best results for your health. So to summarize the three things I think you should know about biotin, vitamin B7 is that it's very important for a healthy, strong hair, skin and nails. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for listening. Have a healthy, happy day. See you soon.